message. An open invitation. Oh, please tell me I can still join him. Diorama mode unlocked. The new diorama mode feature has been unlocked. Combine gunpla and diorama background parts and effect parts to create your very own diorama. This can be selected from diorama in my room. Please give it a try. Chaos and open invitation. I've never expected to find an awakened user hiding out with lower rankings. It's been a long time since I enjoyed a battle that much. If you ever grow tired of carrying your team and want to experience real gunpla battle, you need only say the word. I'll be waiting for your message. It's now. I want to join you now. Let me go now. <laughs> Gained a new title. Awaken user. Hooray. All right, let's go rebuild our uh, Gundam. Now we can go Gundam Virtue and Gundam Kyrios. Which does seem to have more HP than the other ones do. It does. HP capacity level 6. That's why. Let's do that. Actually, no, let's not do that. Because we have these two-star ones. Between Gun Cannon and a Gundam Exia. Hmm. It also gives us three different abilities. I'm going to go with Gun Cannon. And we're going to go to Body. We got a level 3, but I could have sworn did we get a level 4? We did. We got GNX as our level 4 with more things sticking out. Or uh, Gundam Kyrios. Recovery speed, rescue level 5, parts loss, defense level 4. And then flinch damage, defense level 3, max hit combo level 3. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. To make ourselves even look weirder. With all this extra pieces just like sticking out. Just look at how, how much the lion has evolved though. It's a pretty massive lion we got going on in the center. Alright, right arm, level 3. Did we get a level 4 right arm? We did not. But we did get these. What's my level 3 right now? Oh, it's too high up. It was just that. Okay. So yeah, do one of these two. So we can get uh, Gaffrin, get ourselves Beam Saber and Beam Vulcan, which Gaffrin is also the legs that we are using. Or I can go down and get AC Guy, which gives us more HP. Because our HP capacity level 4. No EX, no OP. And it actually looks like it stays the same. Oh, it's because of the different abilities, that's right. 50. No, I kind of want to do this. Gaffron it is. And for the left arm, we did get some level 4 parts. So we do have to pick a level 4 between the two gun cannons, and that's it. Which gun cannon arm do we want? Time reduction charge level 3, flinch guard recovery speed, max duration hit combo level 3, HP re uh, recover HP on attack hit 4. Let's do that one. Uh, legs. Level 3, that's right, we're switching legs. We can do some Zagak legs, which is more than likely probably what we're going to do. We also have Gundam Curios as well, with those big old knees. GN Beam Saber Throw and GN Beam Saber. Oh yeah, and then we also have this Gundam Death Scythe Hell Endless Waltz. These are all cool and nice and everything, but Zagak is a rarity 3 and has more abilities. So we're going to be going with that one. And then for backpack, we got a little four backpack with gun cannon. It looks like we're going to be going with the Gundam Curios. We can also do the Trans Am skill too, so we can look at this backpack. So weird looking. Uh, boost speed and HP is increased. Thanks to the abilities that we have on here as well. And then right long range item, uh, we got a new melee weapon. So I can actually change this up to a level four we got a beam spray gun which i think was what we were gonna do high speed rifle yeah because that was the only level four weapon boom little tiny beam some beam spray gun that's what, what we're working with now long range ga gauge capacity right bazooka long range gauge capacity right gatling which we're not using and then over here we want to switch to the lance so that way we can get the achievement for using a lance 
All right, apply the changes. Hang on, hang on. Yes, I do, but we weren't done. That was my fault. Go back to assembly. We need to choose skills. Oh yeah, we got a different shield too. A level four GN shield from Kyrios. Gives us a GN shield claw mode. All right, back over here, builder parts. Uh, we did get some new builder parts. We got shield bits, which gives us shield bits. And then we just want to go here. Give me Trans Am. I would say give me Beam Saber. Apparently I can't. Uh, requires both uh, Gaffin Arms. We only got the one, so we can't use it. Assault Stimulation Awakes. Latent Abilities draw out a Gunblast Potential to increase combat capabilities. We could also do Arbiter, which is Awakens Latent Abilities to draw the Gunblast Potential to increase combat capabilities, decrease enemies' performance, increase attack performance, increase defense performance, revives incapacitated allies, increase speed performance. Uh, I like to go with attack for now. And then we have a Burst Action, Burst Breaker. We can also do burst resurrect, but we don't want to do that one. All right, and then OP skills, GN shield claw mode, put that there. Uh, beam Vulcan can go right there, and head Vulcan can go right there. So that's what we're rocking with now. This is this is our new suit, but we're gonna we're gonna change the color because that's just what I like to do when we change up what we look like with these preset colors. We now have Force Impulse Gundam colors. Gira Doga colors, which is very similar to a uh, Zaku. Uh, Gyunji Jag Doga. Raisin Gira Doga. And that's it. I'm gonna go with the Gyun Jada Doga. It's because it's one of the new ones. It looks pretty cool too. I like the way it looks. Keeping the horns, keeping the lion face, keeping the missiles on the feet. Just looking oh so fly. How do we move now? <laughs> we move so angrily. Our arms stick out. Er, er, I'm gonna go pick a fight with someone. Er, I'm so mad. Er, er, really lifting up the knees. Er. That's great. I enjoy that. Look at the way the lion head looks on this though. It looks nice. With everything put together, it just looks really good. All right, let's get a mission going. This is the mission desk. Yep, that's what this is. Uh, we going into five. We're going into five. We can get uh, parts for HG Camphor by obtaining an S rank, including uh, Strum Faust left, Strum Faust right. So let's see. Lynn and Lillin face off for the first time in a situation where anything could happen. You take on a new mission. Grr. I wish I could have seen him use Awaken. Was that the coolest thing ever or what? Also, I still can't believe you both confused me for someone else. There's no way we look that much alike. Well... I swear she could have been your twin. We were lucky to have her, though. She was really good. I just hope we can spot her again sometime. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Hey, <laughs> Lilin! Hello. <laughs> it is actually two people. Huh. So you're Lilin, huh? Dang, we really are twins! Who gives? I don't know. Lynn, did you make a bot account or something? She looks exactly like you. It's kind of freaky. What? Of course not! Why would I even do that? It's a Peru Peru 2 situation. So, do you have a twin sister then? The only family I have left is my cousin. And they don't even play GB4. They play DB3 like a cool she person. She does look just like me, though. And she has exactly the same mobile suit. It's like someone copied my data. Did my account information get uploaded somewhere by mistake? I don't know. Huh. You don't seem to know much. So, 
Hello, Lilin. What kind of gunpla do you like? Have you been playing GB4 for very long? No. I am new. I see. Not too big on talking, are you? She just told you. All right then, newbie. Let's get in the mission and see what you can do. How much details do you need? You might look just like me, but I'll prove I'm still the better fighter. Let's go! Probably should have seen that coming. Okay, I'll sit this one out. But I'll be watching to see how you three do on this next mission. <laughs> Good luck. She does better than you, uh, you're out of the team. Just letting you know. I got like one long arm. Yeah, my, uh, my, uh, right arm is longer than my left. Gun Cannon kind of has those short, stubby arms. Mission start. Defeat the target mobile suit. Okay, here we go. There's no way I'm letting you show me up. Okay. Well, she's quiet. Maybe she's embarrassed about copying my look or something? Oh, serves her right. With that god hand, Yakushiki. Just like a little Gundam guy running around. Oh, just worth a lot of money. Double Zeta. Get out of here. Nice. Let's keep it going. There's just a little tiny gun to mount there that you just take out and. They gave you credits. All right, did not know that was a thing. I thought it was going to be another situation like we found with Lynn. Prioritize the target. Yeah, fight some of the other ones, get some items. Boom, let's get focused. Trans Am. <laughs> Shot him with the torpedoes in the air, broke his legs, and just went down. Just 
stabbed him with that saber. Fresh out of the box. Do you think we can take it? Knocked his head off. Let's get some extra parts while we're at it here, right? I don't know what my teammates are doing. Cover. Hmm. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And for Lilin. Did you see that, Lilin? Top that. She got three. Hmm? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> She took down three at once? She tapped it. Whatever. I was just getting warmed up. Okay, now it's time to really get serious. Serious? I'm not sure I understand. But I will try. You won't beat me. Let's do this thing. Anything she can replace Tao, I really don't mind losing him. Who's the boss? Oh boy, I'm gonna enjoy this one. We should raise the threat level. With these guys, I would gladly let it raise my threat level. But trans and on too. <laughs> I really enjoy that twin blade. Man, Tao said she was good, but she's way better than I expected. Nothing about me, though. Is she so much faster than me when we have the same mobile suit? Nothing on how I'm good. You can do this. Try and say him. Look at that score. A high score. Congratulations. Yeah, make it get like good. I don't think I brought anything new with me in here. We didn't really have anything new. I had that beam spray gun. New weapon type. Gatling guns, which we already had. 
XL at projectile speed and homing capabilities make them excellent long-range weapons. They can be easily cancelled, making Gatling gun attacks extremely easy to link to EX skills, OP skills, and other weapon combos. Got a level 1 saber. Woo. Level 3 is the Mega Gatling gun. I think we're up to level 4 stuff. Oh boy, an SD head at level 4. SD head. Level 4 body for uh, Savior Gundam. Force Impulse Gundam and Aegis. A Hyakushiki arm. We got a shiny golden arm. Uh, Aegis arm, Savior Gundam arm, Gundam. Crusty arm. Oh, we got two SD legs. Build Strike Gundam's legs. Oh, Build Strike Gundam was on here. Command Gundam legs. I Gundam legs. Oh boy, SD Gundam parts. Level 4. And then a uh, level 2 shield. Alright, let's go. Cleared story chapter one. Very nice. Got the basics down. Okay, I admit you're not bad, but I'll do better next time we play together. Hmm? Next time. Won't be any. She's gonna take your soul. You're not quitting after one win, are you? Actually, I think she's asking if we want to play with her again. Oh, right. She isn't in our clan yet. Well, I guess we'll have to fix that then. What do you think? Does she make the cut? I like her. No. That's a great idea. Hold on, Lillen. I'll invite you. All right. I, I just said no. You'll invite me. Trying to explain to her why she can't join. Oh. Okay. I see. There you go, at least she understands. You should join. That way we can plan missions together, and you can play with us anytime you're online. Thank you, Lynn. I will join your clan, and we will play together again. Hey, good thinking, Lynn. Yeah. But you do realize you said that to Lillin, not me. Right, Tao? So sorry. Yeah. This is just a little confusing with the avatars and everything. All the more reason I feel we should kick Tao out. Huh. I guess it is pretty hard to tell us apart when we look so similar. This is weird. I wish I had a way to change my color scheme or something. Oh, but you do. With color. paint. There you go. Is this okay? Oh god, did we just get Rem and Ram? Even your avatar changed. I have Lynn and Lillin. To tell who's who, though. I guess problem solved. Wow, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how you pulled that off, but that'll work. Welcome to the clan, Lillin. We invited a data bug. Thank you. I will see you next time. Imagine if she's the only one that actually gets the pronunciation of my name right. New feature unlocked! You can now select Bounty Hunter from the mission desk. I enjoy bounty hunting. New feature unlocked! You can now select Quest Mission from the mission desk. Is that what we're doing already? New chapter unlocked! Message from Lynn. And from the admins, a new helmet icon is available. A new helmet icon has arrived in the shop. It can be purchased by exchanging GP at the shop. Icons can be set to your profile card, so why not try spicing things up with your favorite icon? Off to a good start from Lynn. I can't believe we already have a new member. It's kind of weird. She looks just like me, and she isn't much of a talker, but she seems nice enough, right? She's super fast too, but I'll prove I'm still the best fighter on the team. You'll see. That's me. Get 
know your place. Bounty Hunter unlocked. The new Bounty Hunter feature has been unlocked. Select a player with a bounty and battle their gunpla for bounties. There will be a CPU controlled. By fighting a Bounty Hunter, your mobile suit will gain a bounty too. You can select these from the lobbies. Mission Desk. New diorama parts are here. New diorama parts have arrived in the shop. They can be purchased by exchanging GP at the shop. There's lots of variety like gunpla, mobile suits, background objects, etc. that can be used in diorama mode. New items are introduced to the shop every time you clear a new mission. So you should check it out. And then, uh, quest unlocked. The new quest feature has been unlocked. Quest missions, different from the story, can be played. Gunpla parts are an emblem. Gunpla parts and emblems can be obtained in quest, which will help strengthen your gunpla and customization. This can be selected from the mission desk in the lobby. Please give it a try. And there you have it. We are at the end now of the video. We've unlocked bounty hunting mission. We've unlocked quest mode missions. And uh, we got a very interesting Gundam that we're using now. I do enjoy the way that he walks. And using that Trans Am special that we have is, uh, well, it's interesting. I just kind of like the after image thing of it, but I don't know if it really affects anything all that much other than having a, a fancy little after image. But I guess I'd have to notice it more when I'm actually using the ability and in combat with it. But, uh, yeah, getting into bounty missions, that's going to be fun. They had that in Gundam Breaker 3, and whenever I was short on credits, bounty missions were the easiest way to get a lot of credits and didn't take as long as doing an entire mission. And then the quest modes is a good way to harvest parts. And so we can go in there if we decide to get parts from one certain type of Gundam, then hey, perfect thing to do is a quest mission. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Gundam Breaker 4. Goodbye.